grade 7 math, number 7, 3 point B, substitutive value for x inequalities. So we talked about before, when we, before we solve an inequality, we need to remember the multiplication and division property of inequalities, and it tells us that when we multiply or divide both sides of an inequality by a negative number, that we must reverse the direction of the inequality sign for the statement to remain true. But also remember that whatever operation we do on one side of the inequality, we must do to the other side, okay? That's when we're doing inverse operations and we're trying to eliminate to find the value of the variable, okay? We can use substitution to decide if a given value is the solution of an inequality. If we have 5x plus 12 is less than or equal to negative 3, and we're given is x equal does it equal negative 3, negative 4, or negative 5? We can plug each one in to see if it mm. keeps it true. So once we remove 12 from each side and we multiply the 5 times the negative 3, we get negative 15. And negative 15 is less than or equal to negative 15. It's true. Now you're going to say, but wait a minute. We multiplied by a negative. No, we didn't. The rule says both sides of an inequality. If we multiply or divide both sides of an inequality by that negative number, and we were saying that x was a negative 3, so we're only multiplying this little thing by the negative number. So the sign is not going to get switched around, see? We're just plugging in a possible value. We're not eliminating to solve it. So 5 times a negative 4 is negative 20, and that is smaller than negative 15. And if we do 5 times negative 5, then it's negative 25 is less than or equal to negative 15. And these are true. So remember, the larger the negative number becomes, the smaller its value becomes. See? The more we move to the left, even though the number seems to be growing, 14, 15, 16, 17, it's actually getting smaller. So use the correct sign to show that it's a less than. And of course, when we move to the right, it's getting bigger, OK? So don't get confused. Remember that this rule is for both sides when you multiply or divide by a negative number, not just one little part of it, okay? Not just one term, all right? In number 7, 3 point C, we're going to talk about solution sets and complex inequalities, okay? I hope to see you there. Bye.